What's up guys, got a little bit of time out here today. A um, little bit of an update on my vehicles and then we got something to do on the Triumph. So for the vehicle update, no Jeep. Sold the Jeep this morning. Um, I just really wasn't, I didn't have a use for it, um, if that makes sense. So. I bought it uh, to commute down to my office downtown. Um, then I ended up starting to take the train to work um, just because it gave me time. I can edit these videos on the train or I can just watch YouTube or read or do whatever I want to do. Um, and I don't have to pay attention to driving, honestly, or obviously. So um, I wasn't really driving it. You know, on the weekends, if my wife and I go anywhere, we always take um, my truck. So. It was really, I drove it occasionally, but it wasn't really worth keeping around. So went ahead and listed it, sold it. I did make a little bit of money on it. If you guys remember from my one video, I bought that Jeep at auction and fixed some stuff, fixed a little bit of suspension, put a new fender and a bumper and stuff on it. Um, made a little bit of money, nothing crazy, um, but at least, you know, made some money, got my money back out of it. So, yep, Jeep is gone. Mustang's still here, truck's still here, no other changes. So um, we're going to get to work on the Triumph. So what I want to do today is I picked up this ammo box um, from a suggestion from you guys on uh, you know a way for me to hide my electronics. Uh, so really what I have to try and hide in this box is this uh, four cell anti-gravity battery, my M unit and the wires that go to that, uh, my electronic ignition and my voltage regulator. So those are the four main components. Uh, none of them are all that big. Uh, you know, obviously the battery is the biggest one, and that's still, I think it's like three and a quarter inches by four by a little over one. I don't know, it's still pretty small. So I picked up this ammo box. It's way too big. This is the smallest ammo box that they make. I think they call it a 30 caliber uh, ammo box. Um, so I picked that up from an Army Navy surplus store. It was like 10 bucks, I think. So two issues with it. One, like I said, it's too big. If you look over here you can see the sprocket down there on the motor and then of course the sprocket on the wheel itself and there's an ammo box right in the middle so it's obviously too wide because the chain can't go through it um, and then I think it's a little bit too tall as well uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take probably two inches out of the height weld it back together and then I'm probably going to take three inches out of the width try to make ourselves a smaller ammo box because I still love the like utilitarian metal with this like cool uh, you know kind of latch system on the side um, but it's obviously too big I also don't want it to stay green army green does not fit our theme whatsoever so I'm going to end up probably stripping it down I may end up painting it black uh, since I have um, you know the whole motor and everything and I kind of want it to disappear I don't know to be completely honest with you there's a big chance that I get it all done and I don't like the looks of it and we end up trying to find a, a tank right here that kind of looks like an oil tank and then we don't have to worry about the chain um, so that's still an option I still might try and find a tank uh, that works but we're gonna go ahead and grab the grinder and welders and stuff and we're gonna modify this ammo box and see if we either uh, throw ten dollars in the trash or come up with a, a cool place to hide my electronics so let's get to work got the uh, rivets drilled out of the handle i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to retain the handle or not since i'm going to be cutting out about three inches out of the middle that's about the width of this handle already so i might try to keep this and i don't know i think it would be kind of cool if it still had the handle because then it'd be easier to tell what it is but we'll have to kind of try it out as we go but now i'm going to measure out like i said i'm going to take two inches of height out of it i can do it right below where this latches so that we still retain all of the functionality of this it's basically two inches right here um, i'm going to do that first then we'll go into three inches out of the middle actually 
I'm gonna lie, to, I lied to you. I'm gonna do the three inches out of the middle first, since that's more difficult, and make sure that that goes well before I, you know, this will be easier. This, I have to cut the door in half, and or the you know lid in half, and make sure it all still lines up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, ruler out and mark out three inches, and we're gonna chop it in half. Got my lines all in place and ready to chop out. So I think we're going to just uh, pull the old angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, cut it all off. I'll probably leave a little bit of space so I can come down and just sand it or uh, grind it, I should say, and make it nice and perfectly straight, make sure it fits uh, nicely. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and chop out this middle section. Here's how we're looking. This just kind of springs up a little bit because of the rubber seal in there, but uh, you know, can picture it being pushed down. So, turned out pretty nice. Still, uh, very obviously looks like an ammo can. So, what I'm gonna do now, is just get my little grinder out over here and clean up all the edges and get it nice and uh, smooth. Grind back the paint a little bit, and we'll uh, actually start to tack it in place and. Uh, and we're gonna TIG weld all the way around uh, and then we'll be able to clean up the welds and then we can work on. So I'm gonna basically finish this whole thing completely around to make sure it's all nice and good and square. Then do the same thing again uh, to uh, you know shrink the height. So cool, we're gonna bust out the welder and the grinders and uh, get this stuff cleaned up. back up and kind of roughly ground down. Let's see the uh, one hand action here. It still opens up, closes and latches. So it's got a real nice tight, obviously not watertight with holes in the top, but I'll be able to reattach that some way. I don't know. I'm not in love with this thing, if I'm completely honest. So it would kind of sit right there. Let me scoot this whole bike over a little bit. Okay. So again, it would kind of sit right about there. I just don't know that it goes with the theme of the bike. I mean, everything else is kind of round and you know, flowing and then it would just be this one square box. I mean, the exhaust is gonna be, you know, nice and sweeping, and there's just not a lot of square. There's pretty much nothing else square on the bike. So I feel like it kind of takes away from it. Hmm. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I haven't cut the lower, you know, I haven't cut this way on it, the two inches. Uh, one, because this was a monumental pain in the you know what, the metal is so old and so thin that my TIG couldn't even strike an arc uh, without blowing right through it. And my MIG, I literally had it on the lowest possible setting and could barely like stitch weld it together. And oh man, it took forever and it was terrible. Um, just cause the metal is so thin and so old. So obviously, like I said, it wouldn't be, wouldn't remain green. But let me know what you guys think. I'm honestly, I think I'm gonna cut it uh, off for this video. Um, sorry if it was short and sorry if uh, the videos have been a little scarce. Uh, I have a lot of uh, stuff going on and um, you know a lot of uh, things with my regular job that uh, are taking up a lot of time and work trips and stuff. So um, let me know what you guys think about the ammo box, um, what you would change, if you would cut it down, if you would paint it, if you would ditch it, throw it in the garbage. Um, I'm really curious. It, all of the stuff will easily fit in there as it is now. So 
Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I should keep searching for some kind of cylinder. I had this old propane tank that's empty that is almost the right size. I, I would like it to be maybe another inch in diameter bigger than this, but that's kind of give you an idea of what I was thinking of where it would sit. So let me know if I should go uh, you know, cylinder route or if I should keep going with the ammo box um, and make it look good. So uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, make sure to like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already, um, check out my Instagram and all that good stuff. Uh, we'll see you guys soon, thanks for watching.